Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about a little bit of a problem that a lot of people don't even know that they have in this spirituality, and that is not living after they've had their main realizations or during their seeking. And uh, yeah, we're going to cover some of that. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, please hit that like and subscribe button below. Hit that bell notification icon, help us grow this channel. And uh, here we go. So let's say that you have reached the level of, you know, self-awareness or, you know, enlightenment or awakening, whatever you, you want to call it, right? Um, what I'm seeing right now, it's, it's a really interesting thing. I, I, I never even thought about it until it was staring me in the face with other people, is that they stop living, right? their mind becomes compulsive towards the spiritual seeking. They're still living it as if they're seeking it. And look, this is a normal thing. I've done it, right? Especially during the seeking phase where you're seeking and you're trying to find answers, like you, know, you can become obsessive over it. And you know what? Uh, that's probably a good thing because it's the driving force that gets you there. But once you've once you've been there, you know, once you have awakened to the nature of reality, the nature of yourself, um, it's time to live, okay? Don't sit around and make talking about spirituality the only thing that you do. So, I met a lady one time, really nice lady, still seeking, and, uh, you know, she talks about, well, I don't, I don't want to talk about, you know, small talk. Well, I get that. Small talk is, hey, how's your day? How's everything going? How's the family? Blah, blah, blah. And some of that, that social interaction is absolutely necessary for day-to-day -day life, but to completely push off like living is in itself not a good idea either, right? What's the purpose of learning about what you are and what the nature of reality is if you're just gonna lock yourself away from the world and you're gonna allow your mind to just completely focus on this one tiny little thing of life. You know, this is, the search is such a small piece of life. Once you get past that, then everything unfolds and it becomes amazing, right? This is your sandbox, right? So, as cheesy as it sounds, uh, life is a sandbox. Dig it, right? Uh, go out there and live. If you find yourself being obsessive or compulsive with with your spiritual mind, okay? Realize that. It is the ego. It is your mind. Your mind is, once again, causing a mind trap or an ego trap that is stopping you from living. That's something most people never really think about, right? If all you want to do is run around trying to save the world and talking about it, then you're still living inside of Dukkha. You are still not satisfied. You are still seeking happiness outside of yourself. And the only thing that you've known for all the months or years that you were seeking was this way of life of seeking, okay? That's not, that's not the purpose of life. Life is meant to be lived, okay? Don't lock yourself away in, in this mental box. Okay, so break this down a little bit further or to get, get you to understand this. Remember, when we talk about ego, when we talk about the mind, the mind is the cause of suffering, all right? It is the, the compulsive thinking that causes you to worry about stuff from the past or worry about the future. Uh, it's the negative thing inside of you that talks badly about you or, or makes you doubt yourself or uh, puts you down all the time, right? So we understand that on a basic level. 
um, but there are next level traps that the mind has, right? And some of those are just manipulative ways of get you, getting your mind uh, sucked into some sort of drama. And some of them are really, really subtle and deceptive. And the spiritual life mental lockdown is, is actually a part of that, right? What good is it to know all of this, to understand all of this at, at some level? to have achieved mental freedom from your own mind, right, uh, freedom from suffering, if you're not going to go enjoy yourself, if this is all you're going to talk about, right, like it's some sort of sport, like in spirituality, people will talk about spirituality, like uh, the UFC people will talk about UFC fights, right, or, or sports or, or whatever else. And you don't realize it, but it becomes a, a kind of a selfish thing because you're now ignoring other people and what's going on in their lives. You're not, you're not present for them, right? And while a certain aspect of this is for us, right? It is for us. We have to be a certain level of selfish in order to, to grow and to, to learn and whatnot, especially in the spiritual life, but to become so self-absorbed in it that you don't become aware of other people and their wants or their needs or you know their desire for interaction then look at the trap that your mind has brought you into so I'm uh, I'm kind of happy um, today's a good day I'm outside it's nice and sunny and whatnot while I don't mind using green screen and while I don't mind uh, being inside during the winter time because it's really cold or whatever I really am more of an outdoorsy person and as I progress through this, this these warmer weather months that are coming up, I'm going to get more outdoor footage and whatnot. And of course I have a new camera. Um, all of these straightforward shots that you're seeing right now are from the new camera. I'm kind of excited about the possibilities of better footage and, and whatnot. Um, and some of the other wilderness stuff, I'll be posting that too. Um, I'm also excited because I'm seeing more and more people in the Chopwood Carry Water Group that are getting it, right? They're seeing their mind clearly. They're starting to step away from it through regular practice, through rewiring their brain to become happy. Some of them are starting to experience the out of nowhere happiness or even bliss. Congratulations, people. You know, this is, this is really what's happening, right? Um, as you progress, you will eventually have one of the final realizations of, of reality and then you'll have to deal with that and then then comes the living part right and then comes the after and uh, it's exciting times I mean, I'm seeing more and more people do this um, so thanks for being here thanks for being a part of this and um, I will say that you know please support the channel you know like subscribe bell notification icon all that good stuff uh, as we grow as things uh, continue to get better uh, we're gonna we're gonna have some really good videos coming up here in the future. Of course, this is still in its infancy, but uh, I'm enjoying it.